This is question number 11. The question says in adiabatic compression which of the following is true? The symbols have the usual meanings and the options are delta q is equal to 0, delta u is less than 0, w is 0 or both a and b. Now dear students for an adiabatic process, specifically the adiabatic compression, the heat exchange is equal to 0 and that is the definition of adiabatic process. Also since it is a compression delta v will be less than 0 and the work which is defined as p delta v will be less than 0. Dear students, as we know that delta q is equal to w plus delta u, as delta q is 0 we can write down that delta u is equal to minus w and since work is less than 0, delta u will be greater than 0. Therefore, if we see all the options, we can clearly see that the only correct option is option number A. Now moving on to the next question, this is question number 12. Question 12 says, 2 moles of an idle gas are contained in a 20 litre vessel. If the temperature of the gas is 300 Kelvin, then the pressure of the gas will be. It is given that 1 atm is equal to 10 raised to power 5 Newton per meter square. And the 4 options are 1.2 Newton per meter square, 2.5 atm, 6.1 atm or the fourth option which says 2.1 into 10 raised to power 3 Newton per meter square. Dear students, we know that as per the idle gas equation, PV is equal to nRT, where n is the number of moles, R is the universal gas constant, T is the absolute temperature, P is the pressure and V is the volume. Now as per the given data, n is equal to 2, T is given to be equal to 300 Kelvin, the volume is given as 20 liters, so 20 into 10 raise to power minus 3 meter cube and the pressure is something that you have to calculate. So, pressure will be equal to 2 into 8.314 that is the SI value of the universal gas constant multiplied by 300 divided by the volume that will be 20 into 10 raise to power minus 3. This will give us a value of 2.5 atm and hence for this question the correct answer is option number B. Now moving on to the next question. The next question is question number 13. The question says the value of A and Z in the following nuclear reaction is. So the reaction is 12 mg 25 plus 2 he 4 gives 1 h 1 plus Z x A. And the four options are A is equal to 28, Z is equal to 13, A is equal to 14, Z is equal to 2, A is equal to 36, Z is equal to 16 or the fourth option which says A is equal to 14, Z is equal to 8. Dear students, the nuclear reaction given is equal to Mg 12, 25 plus 4 He2 and it gives 1 H1 plus A xz. Now in a nuclear reaction the number of nucleons remain conserved. So we can conserve the number of nucleons and write down that 25 plus 4 will be equal to a plus 1 that is if we conserve the value of a on the left hand side and the right hand side. This will give us a value of a to be equal to 28. Similarly for z we can write down that 12 plus 2 will be equal to 1 plus z giving a value of z to be equal to 13 and hence for this question the correct answer is option number A. Now let us proceed to the next question. This is question number 14. The question says mobility of charged particles is 6 into 10 raise to power minus 2 meter square per volt per second. If the electric field is applied to be equal to 9 to 10 raise to power minus 3 volt per meter then the drift speed would be. The four options are 0.54 millimeter per second, 2 millimeter per second, 0.69 into 10 raise to power minus 4 meter per second, 2 into 10 raise to power minus 4 millimeter per second. Dear students, the mobility mu is defined as the drift speed per unit electric field. Consecutively, we can write down that the drift speed will be equal to mu into E and therefore, if we substitute the values, mu is given to be equal to 6 into 10 raise to power minus 2 
and E is given as 9 into 10 raise to power minus 3. On further solving, we get a value of 0 0.54 into 10 raise to power minus 3 meters per second, which can also be written as 0 0.54 millimeters per seconds. And hence for this question, the correct answer is option number A. Now let us proceed to the next question. This is question number 15. Question 15 says, considering the rules of the significant figures, what is the value of 10.01 meter into 9.11 meters and the four options are 91.19, 91.1911, 91.191 or 91.2. Dear students, we have to find out the value of 10.01 into 9.11. This will be equal to 91.1911. Now, since this is a question of multiplication, the final answer should have the number of significant figures as there are in the number with the least significant figures. And among these two numbers, 9.11 has the least number of significant figures that is 3. So, we have to round off this number to 3 significant figures and this will be equal to 91.2 and hence for this question the correct answer is option number D. Now let us proceed to the next question. 